Hi there Equinox owners. Today we're going to be taking a look at the best flat tow setup for your 2012 Chevrolet Equinox. There's five main components you'll need when flat towing your vehicle behind your motorhome. You'll need your tow bar, which is the connection between your motorhome and your vehicle. Your safety cables, which is a supplemental connection in addition to your tow bar. Your base plate, which provides a connection point at the front of your vehicle. Your diode wiring, which takes all the lighting signals from your motorhome and transfers them to the lights at the back of your vehicle so people around you know your intentions when going down the road. And lastly, your supplemental braking system, which will apply the brakes in your vehicle when you hit the brakes in your motorhome to help it come to a safe stop. Our customers decided to use Blue Ox's base plate, which is a great base plate, but however, I would recommend Roadmaster's Direct Connect base plate kit. I found that the Roadmaster base plate just has a little bit cleaner installation and provides better connection points when mounting your hardware, such as your electrical and breakaway switch. Our customer opted for Roadmaster's Falcon 2 tow bar. There's a couple of different versions of this available. The one that they chose has ends pre-installed on them to connect directly to Blue Ox base plates. The Falcon 2 is a great entry-level tow bar. However, I would recommend Roadmaster's Falcon All-Terrain because it's going to have channels located underneath each arm to store your safety cables and your wiring to keep it up from dangling down on the road. And it is also a non-binding tow bar, which makes it easier to get disconnected if you're parked on une uneven surfaces. If you've got your vehicle parked like this and your motorhome like this, when you're at your campsite, it can be very difficult to get these arms disconnected. With this style tow bar, you'd have to press in on these little buttons to get it to release. And when it's in a bind, you'd almost have to bust out a hammer and slam on this to release it. Now there are levers available here at eTrailer.com that you can purchase to get additional leverage to press that down to get these to pop loose. But with the Falcon All-Terrain, that's all built in. It's got the handles there, and it's just so much smoother. With this setup, we had to purchase safety cables, and we're using those from Roadmaster. Now, if you went with the Falcon All-Terrain tow bar, those would come with your tow bar, so you wouldn't need to purchase safety cables in addition to your tow bar. To keep you legal and DOT compliant in all states, you'll need lighting at the back of your vehicle. We've used Roadmaster's diode wiring kit, which installs behind your tail at assemblies, takes all the signals from your motor home, transfers them back here to our lights. You can see that our light is mimicking our motorhome right now. The diodes prevent any of that electrical current that's coming from our motorhome from back feeding into our vehicle, which keeps our vehicle safe. There are a few other options out there to get lighting at the back of your vehicle. There's magnetic lights, which you can set up every time you want to tow. They would stick to the top of your vehicle or to the sides, depending on wherever you have a magnetic surface. But with those, you have to set it up each time, so it's a little bit of a task and more of a setup when getting your vehicle ready to flat tow. There's also bulb and socket kits, which would require you to drill into the taillight assembly to install a bulb inside of it. And with that kit, you leave your taillight assemblies potentially open for weeks if it's not installed properly. So I would highly recommend using Roadmaster's dot wiring kit because it's one of the cleanest installations and it works great, as you can see here. For our braking system, the customer chose to go with Roadmaster's Brake Master supplemental braking system. And this braking system is a semi-portable system the cylinder here that you see that applies the brake pedal needs to be installed each time you want to flat tow your vehicle. And it's pretty quick. It just clamps around the pedal and hooks in here at our anchor point with a pin at the back. And when you're ready to drive your vehicle, you can remove it by unclamping it from the pedal and popping the pin off here. There is also an airline connection that you have to disconnect. The Brake Master system is great if your motorhome has air brakes. However, my preferred braking system, if your motorhome has air brakes, is Demco's Air Force One. It operates fairly similarly, but the cylinder that's installed on your brake pedal doesn't go between a bracket and the pedal. It's actually mounted on the pedal and it stays there all the time. It's considerably smaller, which allows the system to just be ready. All you got to do is hook it up and you go because that cylinder is always installed on the pedal. When you want to drive it, you just disconnect, hop in and drive. With the Brake Master system, you have to remove that cylinder and install it each time, which is a bit tedious, which is why I would prefer Demco's Air Force One since it's completely maintenance free for the user. And that completes our look at the best flat tow options for your Chevrolet Equinox.